work on some parameters modifier creators and this one is more useful and you'll see when we start working with the project but right now i just want to go very fast over parameters so the first we have a scalar uh, generator and we have a simple value this is a create a single scalar value between 0 and 2 1 so right here but one this value can be used as a driven parameter to just input in different uh, device so for example if you create macro or any other effect so you can produce that one scalar generator so next we have a scalar clamp okay let's go create this one and you remember it's a similar to other clamping so we can set minimum and maximum range and this is um, of course it's a maximum range that allowed in output and this is maximum allowed in the input so in some cases if I have big values coming and you remember it's work on different it will take and remap those values between values I wanted and again right here they can be clipped it means any values will cut off and it will be 0 or 1 or if I want to rescale 0 and 1 and all these values will put it between the what I selected okay so next we have a scalar inverter this is straightforward you have it 1 you have it output 0 so it's invert the parameters between 0 and 1 so if you have it minus one it's one kind of work so it need to be value one and zero and it's on the back you have it zero and one value range for this okay so next we have a scalar arithmetics so actually yeah let's go right here and this is to perform a simple arithmetic value so we can add subtract or multiply values we can clip or rule over values that produce and as well we can specify again this is all work in a world machine math world so it's meaning values from 0 to 1 okay let's go right here next we have a combiner again it's color combiner which is take values from 0 to 1 and can add together subtract or multiply based on the values let's go on the bank selector this is kind of a little bit more needed to explain the bank selector will allow you to change values of the many scalar variables at once so for example if you have a too many valves come you can customize and modify it here so add a tab we add another tab with the values add variables we can add obviously another variable to modify we can copy tab and paste so we can create it um, and we can modify it correctly so right here you can see we have it value already that we created so if we add additional tabs and additional variables so right here we have it all of them start adding as we're going you can also specify different tabs and work on the tabs that you currently active so currently active so let's say two and in this case the R2 will be active at this moment okay let's delete this one next we have a universal splitter that is take one value in and can be output to multiple devices so it is um can use it for any type of data that allowed so in some cases you can just connect it and when you don't you want to have it organized you maybe want to use the universal splitter for that okay next we have the generator so right here it will generate the parameter data packet that contain a generate value so we can okay, two and it's just generating value for us integer so next we have a coordinate generator 
This is similar, we can generate X and Y values for this. You notice we have an input for this values that can be controlled from different. So in some cases, if you have it coordinates required, you can input them from other single values and generate these values and feed directly to positioning, for example, our island. We want to position maybe by lower point. We can input those values here and output directly. Okay, and then next we have it integral equals and it's just simple logic so it's a compare to integers and output true all false if they are equal or not.